Hey, this is Jeff. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Roleplaying with the attack key disabled. Last week, Nasty Nate did several quests at Bunker Hill but still didn't unlock their workbench, which reminded me there are two other settlements I put off because recruiting them is also a little more complicated than most. I saw this place on one of my first recon missions away from Sanctuary Hills, but they had pretty good defenses, didn't look like they'd be interested in protection insurance. Now that I got pretty much the whole commonwealth under my thumb, I think I can make them an offer they can't refuse. You here visiting Covenant, pal? We don't just let anyone inside. There's an entrance test. We call it the safe test. Everyone's got to take it. Interesting idea. Just between you and me, what's the test for? I probably shouldn't say nothing, but listen. We want to make sure only good people come into Covenant. No, undesirables. Nobody that ain't actually what they seem, you know? Test ain't gonna stop super mutants or football teams from crashing the party. That's what we got the turrets for. You wanna take the test? Pass it, and I'll let you in. Sure, why not? Good. Take a seat, and we can begin. So let's begin. There ain't no wrong answers. You are approached by a frenzied scientist who yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? I'd say, you better not drop the soap, pal. You'd say that? Hmm. Next question. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection on his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Amputate it before it spreads. Hmm, amputation. Next question. You discover a young boy lost in a cave. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? If the stolen property is mine, I take it back and snuff him. Very curious. Congratulations! Hey, you made it onto a baseball team. Which position do you prefer? A designated hitter does have a certain appeal, but uh, I got plenty of experience gunning down guys that tried to steal, so uh, catch ya. Are you certain about that? Never mind. Next question. Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill someone. What do you do? <laughs> that actually happened to me once. I did what Granny told me. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again, and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? My days of following orders are done. Now I'm the one giving them. I'd walk away and let him rot. And that is all you do? Nothing else? Wait, don't answer. Next. Oh no. <laughs> you've been exposed to radiation, and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? If I can hold a gun, I'd keep it. Other way, uh, right away, I guess. Ignoring possible. Yes. A neighbor is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book, issue number one. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? Trade him for something he wants. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. That's how my business works. Hmm. You're almost done. Last question. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking, and... Yeah, I've done this one, too. Put a firecracker in his toilet. That never gets old. Test's over. No one's ever answered quite like you. But hey, you passed. I'll open up the gate. Welcome to Covenant. Head on in. Penny's shop is usually the first stop. This isn't Diamond City. A caravan of five comes through, you'd remember. Then they must not have come through. Say, wouldn't you rather have a lemonade? My job here isn't drinking lemonade. I know for a fact they came here. Why the brush off? I want to help, mister, but I really don't recollect. Mark my words. I'll get to the bottom of this. You from around here? <laughs> you talking to me, pal? Whatever. Lemonade. After a long day, nothing beats Jesus lemonade. Less rads, less mute fruit, same great taste. Try Jesus lemonade. 
Yeah, absolutely. I'll take some. Enjoy! You from around here? Over God, I hope not. Gamma 3, Delta not Tango 6. Psst. Hey, mister. Do you want a cold, delicious lemonade? Command override. Vocal audio, House Robert. Access core programming. You're really missing out. Enjoy a longer, healthier life with Jesus Lemonade. Okay. Ah, too bad. I won those codes in a poker game once. Hasn't worked yet. That's because General Atomics made Mr. the Handies. If that's really Robert House's password, try it on a Protectron. From around here? God, I hope not. I've had enough of these hicks. What do you want? Seems like a nice place to me. All the fake smiles and the fancy talking puts me on edge. The sooner I'm out of here, the better. You know anything about Stockton's caravan? I've done some business with Stockton, but I don't know nothing about a missing caravan. I signed on with old man Stockton to find his lost caravan. What's left of it is just outside of town. The last stop was here, so I've been trying to put together the story. But I keep getting the runaround. Got a proposal for you. Help me find Stockton's people, and we split the reward. At least one survivor walked out of that massacre. And I intend to make good on my contract. Yeah, I'll help you. But you gotta sweeten the deal a little bit. If I have your word, you'll help. I'll chip in 50 caps now. That's above and beyond the deal. Good enough. I'm in. Here's all I got on the caravan. I don't got proof, but Covenant's involved. Somehow. I'll keep poking around, but let me know if you find anything. The name's Jacob, and I run this town. Glad you passed the test. Our door's always open to good quality people. You can use one of the beds in the guest house. And you should visit Penny's store. Anything else in town? Doc Patricia will be more than happy to patch you up. For a modest fee, of course. You might want to stay clear of Mr. Dan. I've had some complaints about him. Yeah, I figure. Well, thanks for the warning. Just being a good host. You have a good stay now. All right, so... Not far outside of town, we have a quest marker for the missing caravan. And standing mysteriously upright amidst the carnage, we have a can of Deezer's lemonade. So they were definitely there. Looking for a lost caravan. Can you help? You know what would be great for a lost caravan? Deezer's lemonade! Voted best beverage in Covenant three years straight! You know anything about a missing caravan? Is this about those Stockton people? I've told Mr. Dan many, many times. We never saw them. I'm Talia. It's so nice to meet you. What do you make? I make medical supplies. Oh, and guns, scopes, and other things. You can see them for sale at Penny's store. You're gonna like it here. Everyone in Covenant is so friendly and really wants to help. You have time for some questions? If it'll help, sure. You know anything about Stockton's caravan? No, sorry, they never came here. You know, everybody around here is acting kind of suspicious. What are you hiding? Hiding? Why would you think that? We're just real friendly and busy. I, I gotta go. You know anything about a missing caravan? You've been talking to Mr. Dan. I don't know what he's carrying on about. He's just stirring the pot, if you ask me. Definitely. He has such an attitude. I know! He's so smug. And Dan thinks he's the one helping people. He wouldn't know the first thing about making the Commonwealth a better, safer place. He should be thankful you let him in. Instead, he stomps around interrogating people. If the compound did do something to his precious caravan, they had reasons for it. Better reasons than a man like him. Hmm. You know, honey, I... I was just shooting off at the mouth. Just forget anything I said about that and the compound. I have to go. 
And here on Jacob's night table, we have the password. Close that. Don't get too greedy or you'll get caught. And back at the terminal, we can get the location of the compound. After a long day, nothing beats Jesus' lemonade! They're hiding something. I'm sure of it. You're right about that. You find out anything about the caravan? They took the survivors to this uh, compound. Then we're in business. I'll meet you there and we'll rescue ourselves some caravan hands. Hey, a stranger. It's no secret you've been poking around. Not very neighborly of you, if you ask me. I know you think you're doing the right thing. Just don't make any rash decisions you'll regret. Why don't you just come out and say what you mean? Maybe you heard a rumor about Stockton's caravan and a certain compound? So, hypothetically, let's say there's something to that. We wouldn't do anything unless we had good reasons. The best. Tell you what, you just stop this investigation, and I'll give you a gift. One hundred caps. And then you'd be welcome back here as our friend any time. Yeah, that's gotta be room for compromise. Let's say I get stocked in survivors, we stay friends, you know. I get a weird vibe off this guy. That's a tall order. A deal like that, well, that's above my pay grade. Tell you what, I'll let the compa know you're coming. Then you can make your case to them. Good luck. Just because Jacob vouched for you doesn't mean you can enter the compound. Why should I let you in? All I want is to find Stockton's people. This doesn't have to get messy. I see. I'll take her to Dr. Chambers. She can decide what to do with you. So the one investigating Stockton's caravan has arrived. Do you even know that his supposed daughter is in all likelihood a synth? No matter. Let me be upfront about this. There are two ways this meeting can end. We come to an agreement, or there's violence. You really don't want to start a fight with me. Agreed. Killing you would be a costly proposition. Let me pose a question to you. What would you do if your family was destroyed by a synth right in front of you when you were but a child? Would you roll over and accept it, or would you do something? I'd make him pay. Then you do understand. It may not look like it, but there's a war being fought. As long as the Institute walks invisibly amongst us, they strike without warning and control us from the shadows. I've dedicated my life to devising a test to detect these hidden synths, to root them out so they can be extinguished. Isn't that a goal worth fighting for? You can't seriously want to kill all synths. We most certainly do, but we have to find them first. A living synth is indistinguishable from a human by any medical test yet devised. But it turns out psychology can detect a difference. Enter the safe test. The test is in its infancy, but through sacrifice and perseverance, our success rate is improving. Yeah, if you can get that to work, that could be a game changer. And then everything we've done will be justified. Covenant is many things. A refuge for the broken people left in the wake of the Institute's rampages. A place of safety and healing. But most importantly, it is our one chance to end this age of paranoia. I will make you a deal. If you let me dispose of Stockton's sin, and continue our work, I'll match whatever reward you were offered. I've had my fill of crazy on this contract. No deal. Fortunate for me, I wasn't talking to you. You side with this nut job, and we're going to have a serious, deadly problem. Are you threatening me, Dan? I have myself a code. That's not always good on my wallet. 
but it helps me sleep at night. I took this contract, and I will honor it. Even if I have to kill you to do it. Let's just say hypothetically I was working with the Institute. I wouldn't want to see nobody develop a synth detector. On the other hand, if I was working with the railroad, they'd say these nut jobs was planning genocide. But either way, if I whack the crew that hit Stockton's caravan, Bunker Hill's gotta see that joining my protection network would be in their best interest. This crazy broad can't match that deal. Damn straight. Then you'll just have to kill me. I suppose so. Whenever you're done corpse squatting, knew we were I'm good to go. Must have tripped some sort of sensor. I bet you 50 caps there's a lot more where they came from. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. Pull yourself together. Oh. Okay. I'm Amelia Stockton. I'm not a synth. Yeah, I know your old man, and I know the trouble he has moving his special packages. He probably got sloppy, decided to keep one himself. I'm not lying! How many times do I have to say that? My father, old man Stockton, he will reward you. Just let me out. Please. I'd love to, Toots, but, uh, that's a master lock. It's insulted that I'm even looking at it. Let me see if there's a key or something around here. There we go. Oh, thank goodness. I'm free. I'm never ever coming back here. Yeah, why would you? Thank you ever so much. So Stockton gets his daughter and we get paid. Not a bad day. Yeah, you said something about a reward? Understood. Here's your cut of the reward. I'll get my half from Stockton. Been a pleasure. I did more than half the work on this job. My share should reflect that. There's some truth to that. 60-40 work for you. 60-40? Really? Try 90-10. 90-10? Is that a joke? I risked my life, same as you. 70-30 is my final offer. That'll work. See you around. Bye. I ever tell you about the time I was in Capital Wasteland? Now there's a tale. Well, let me guess. They had the great DJ on the radio, and the Brotherhood of Steel was the good guys. Nah. Maybe that's too far-fetched even for you. I'm guessing the people in Covenant aren't going to be happy to see me. Nope. Shouldn't have shot at me, Jacob. I could have offered better protection than the compound ever did. <laughs> Penny's dress just did something funky. My trick. Uh, Talia. Sorry. On the bright side, set up a beacon and this place is ready for peasants to move in. Well, except for the bodies. Shame about Talia, but the... Uh, not the cat. Robot, they're okay with me. Two out of three ain't bad. Might as well set up Tom's gizmo while we're in the neighborhood. Should be able to pick these schmucks off from the overpass without them even knowing I'm here.
<laughs> Two vertebrates. Anyway. Raiders from the Corvega factory are running down to join the fight. Well, let them go at it and pick off the survivors. Actually, I'm just going to head up while they're distracted. Camera. Thank you. And at the top of the other tower is the spot to put Tom's sensor. And the repair bobblehead. Nice. Neil is transmitting loads of information. At first glance, the atmosphere appears normal, but I'm going to dive deep into the data. I already lined up another place to stash one of my babies, if you got the time. Now, at first you might think this is another endless Radiant quest, but while the locations are random, there are only 11. However, the reward for putting up all 11 is that it unlocks upgrades for Deliverer that you can buy from Tom, and Nate has enough ranks of the Gun Nut perk that he already built them all himself, so I won't be going out of my way to do that. Anyway, while I was killing raiders, I saw a message pop up to visit Virgil. Welcome back. It needs some refinement, but uh, I think we can consider my serum a qualified success. Hey, I kept my part of the bargain. So you did. And I'm deeply grateful. It will take years, perhaps decades, to generalize my formula. Still, you have my gratitude. You're welcome to make use of my lab. Oh, or that's an order. Help yourself to any of this junk if you want it. In the meantime, I have a lot of experiments to run. Excuse me. True to his word, you can now take anything in here without stealing, which is nice. But ah, right here beside the terminal, stealth boy. All right, let's go unload. Well, maybe that aluminum too. Hey, I, I got something important to say. I really appreciate you putting up with my bullshit. Truth is, it's been a long time since I, I've had a friend. I'm a liar. Everyone knows it. I make no secret of it. Because the truth is, I'm a fraud to my core. When I was young, a, a hell of a long time ago, I, I was, well, scum. I was a bigot, a very violent bigot. You trying to sell me another one of your lies? Really? Just hear me out. Make your judgments then. I ran with a gang in University Point. We called ourselves the UP Death Claws. For kicks, we'd terrorize anyone we thought was a synth. We kept egging each other on. Started with some property damage, graduated to some beatdowns, then... Inevitably, a lynching. The Claw's leader was convinced we'd finally found and killed the synth. Looking back, I'm not so sure. Now why are you telling me this? What game are you playing? It's called a confession. Good for the soul or something. So I turned my back on my brothers, broke all contact. Time passed, I became a farmer, if you can believe that. Then, one day I found someone. She saw something in me I didn't know was there. We were trying for kids, eking out a living. Then one day, it turns out my Barbara, she was a synth. She didn't know that. I certainly didn't. I don't know how the Death Claws found out, but there was blood. They killed her? Yes. I don't remember much clearly after that. I know I killed most of the claws. I must have made a big impression. 
The railroad contacted me, figuring I'd be sympathetic, seeing that I lost my wife. And, well, what I did afterwards. I guess this is the part where you tell me it's a lie and try teaching me some stupid lesson? I deserve that, but no. That's the end of the story. I don't even know why I lie anymore. But I can't tell the truth. Everyone, Tom, Dez, you, even that asshole Carrington, they deserve to be on the railroad. I don't. I'm everything wrong with this whole fucking commonwealth. You're the only friend I got. I don't deserve you being okay with this. Hell, I'm not even asking for it. But I figured you should know. Yeah, that's real nice, but I don't buy any of it. Very understandable, but believe this. You are my friend. Maybe my only one. Look, when shit goes down, I'm with you to the end. So, yeah. <laughs> Good talk. Having reached the highest level of affinity with Deacon, you have gained the Cloak and Dagger perk. That gives you bonus sneak attack damage, and it stacks with Ninja and Mr. Sandman, so very nice. And speaking of companion affinity, it seems fitting that Nate's top two lieutenants are a pathological liar and a junkie. Which reminds me, I still need to get Kate's addiction cured. Hmm? If it isn't the railroad's secret weapon, what you need? You've earned the vacation, Deke. Another time, then. Send Deacon to Sanctuary Hills? Even though he's already here. Plus, maybe it's because I never gave Deacon a silenced weapon, but Kate seems better at stealth. Hey, sweetheart. Ready to hit the road? All this walking's wearing me out. <laughs> you mean around the neighborhood? Ready to head back out? If you ain't too wore out from all that walking. Good. Then let's get moving. All right. I'm going to call it a day, and we'll add the last two settlements to Nate's protection racket next week. See you then.